things as the father of the bride. This is the mother of bride, my honey pie, Debbie. <laughs> so, uh, first thing I want to say is uh, uh, about Chris. You know what? I met Chris quite a while ago, and I can honestly say from the first time I met Chris, I liked him. You know what? Chris has always been respectful and polite and helpful in every way. And you know what? I, I like that in the, my qualities of my daughter's life partner. That's a good thing. Chris, I like that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to... I want, to, I want to give a shout out to Steve and Karen, you know, thank you for raising a great guy like Chris. You did good. You did good. So. You know, Chris has other good qualities. You know, he's always, he's a hard worker. He's always willing to, you know, jump in and pitch in when there's work to be done. And also he's a car guy, so that's really important to a father-in-law like me, because we're car guys. Right? So we can hang out together. Uh, a little bit about Krista. When Krista was about two years old, well, first off, everybody knows Krista is a little bit uh, independent, not really a conformist, to say the least, right? She kind of does things her way. And so one time when she was about two years old, I got up on a Saturday morning and went downstairs, and in the middle of the kitchen, Rory and Tina were still in bed, go to the middle of the kitchen and Krista has an entire box of cereal turned upside down and she was making a pyramid of frosted flakes. I think that's when I knew she was a little different and a little independent. <laughs> uh, you know, one other story I'll tell about Krista is when she was about 15, uh, we went down to Deb's sister's uh, Rhonda and her husband Tom's house for a birthday party. I got off work late and I was just driving up and Krista was leaving the party, and I said, well, what are you doing leaving the party? We've got a birthday party to go to. And she said, oh, i got to go home. i got to study for a test. And I said, well, you know, don't, don't be too sad with your plight. I said, because you already won the lottery. And she said, well, what do you mean by that? And I said, well, you won the life lottery. I said, you've got to be born. You've got to have a life. I didn't quite say it that diplomatically at the time. But <laughs> And uh, she says, okay. And I says, you won another lottery. You won the birthplace lottery. You were born in the United States of America. You get to have an education. You get to go to school. And she goes, okay, Dad, I get it. I get it. So my whole purpose in telling you that story is, you know what? So you guys, you've won another lottery. You've won the love lottery, right? You found somebody to love you for you. Somebody who's stands by you no matter what, and somebody who's always got your back, so, you know, you've won another lottery. So, so uh, I just want to finish by saying we love you both from Pluto and back a million times. So please, everybody, raise a glass and let's toast uh, Chris and Krista. Chris, that's probably in the future. 
Um, I thought about the first time Krista had mentioned Chris to me. She told me she was taking a 15 minute union break at Red's and going down to the basement of Ambus at Princess Beers and Dance with a guy named Chris. And I knew right then that he could keep up with her. They work out together, they raise dogs together, they cook together. Chris wears Krista's yoga pants. They are entwined in every aspect of each other's lives. <laughs> tricking people into reproducing. So, here's a lifetime of happiness and many, many nieces and nephews for me. Speak up. One more. All right. Is that better? Yeah. So, Chris and Krista, may you feel no rain, for each of you will be a shelter to the other. I thought that was fitting for today. Uh, may you both live as long as you want, and never want as long as you live. May your troubles be less, and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. And last but not least, may your hands be forever clasped in friendship, and your hearts join forever in love. So, I just wanted to tell you guys I, I love you both, and thank you for letting me be a part of this day. And thank you to, to all of you guys for here, you know, being here celebrating with us and for them. And yeah, let's raise our glasses. Uh, Cheers to Chris and Krista. All right. Check. It's a hot mic. It's a hot mic. So you guys are probably wondering, I'm Chris's younger, younger brother, uh, Zach. Um, you may have heard me refer to Chris as Goose. Um, it's not a Top Gun reference, as many of uh, Missoula folklore would suggest. Uh, I'm, I first met Goose at uh, the Mo Club when I was working there with Sean, actually, and Patty and those guys. And I remember we're working and it's a busy night and this random guy in street clothes is behind the bar and he's, uh, he's serving drinks faster than me and getting way better tips than me. 
and I'm wondering who the heck this guy is, and uh, I ended up, it's Sean's brother, Chris, he just got back from North Dakota, and I was like, dang, like, everyone loves this guy, I gotta get to know him, and uh, luckily I did, and uh, I've become Goose's good buddy, um, he's my real estate agent, uh, and my, and my uh, house home improvement guy. Who I call when I got a gas leak or a leaky fridge. It's on, he's on, he guaranteed the house for 30 years. Um, but man, he's my business partner, dude. And this, the conversations that I have with Goose, uh, we talk about life, we always joke, like, we gotta have a podcast going up to Snowball, man, because we, we figure out all the problems of Earth, man. Uh, that guy, I look up to Goose like a bigger brother, man, and I... Gosh, I can't even look at him. If you guys were at the ceremony, you saw the waterworks. It wasn't just from the clouds. But uh, the funny thing is, so I'm in the back, and all I can see is Krista. And I was like, holy crap, I'm, I'm, I'm the one marrying Krista. And I would just started bawling when uh, they wrote their vows. And in the vows, while it is pouring rain to a, a Buddhist monk's blessing, they're like, hey, through the, ba through the chaos, we will find balance. And... Uh, Meeting Krista, like I told Goose and Krista, like this is what I look for in a relationship. As a younger guy going through life, like this is what I want. And they're just so passionate and so driven and each other's best friends. And they let each other do their own things and they come together at the end of the day and it's just perfect harmony. And uh, I don't know, I just really look up to Goose. Like he's literally good at everything. Anyone who knows Goose is like, the guy is good at everything. Um, but I don't know, I just look up to you guys so much, and I'm so glad you guys are finally married, and I'm so glad that I actually got a, a, a slice of this, this, uh, celebration, but, uh, gosh dang, I love you guys, and I'm trying to not cry, but I'm just proud of both of you guys, and I know you guys will have the best life ever, because you guys are the best people ever, and props to you, you guys as both your parents, everyone out there, um, Gosh, I just love these guys, and everyone just pour your love into this relationship. I'm going too long, but let's celebrate Goose and Krista! Hey! Play some kid rock.